Hello everyone, uh, this is my first video here and it is Monday, July 8th, around 12.20 and uh, we're gonna report the health of these trees. So let's start off with this one right here. So what you're seeing here is a green buttonwood native to uh, Florida. And um, let's look at the uh, root system. It's a little um, deep, as you can see right there. It's a little deep. Got this here. Not really doing anything. So if you're gonna have this, you should remove a lot of this out of the way. Um, yeah, do like a little ring maybe here. And uh, yeah. Open it up a little bit, at least. When you plant a tree, you also want to expose the first root flare. So something like this. That would be the first root flare. Right there. So yeah, remove all of this, you know, just expose all of this. Let the tree breathe. Um, in more videos, I guess I'll have more tools out here while I'm doing this. I don't know. So here's a root here. So yeah, you might want to let it come out. Show, expose that root flare, that beautiful flare of a tree. You know, let it breathe. Let's move up the canopy here. Look at the trunk. It's nice trunk. Great trunk, nice. Got some wounds here, but that's fine. Eventually they start to close up. Got some, some things here. Yeah. Now you see that, how it's just exposed like this. So our leggings. How long it is without any limbs in between it, you know? It's just like long with nothing there. Just at the tip. <laughs> yeah. A lot of these trees have it, as you can see here. See that? A lot of people in South Florida, they think these, these type of pruning cuts are good for the tree because they think that you can expose it and air would just go right through it for hurricane season yeah that's not good because what happens is you have this long lagging and then you have bushes over here and so what happens is this flows in the wind there's nothing here there's nothing there. And then this, all of this, the air is being compressed out of it. And then what? It will snap. This little weak limb will snap. Here you go. So there you go, look at these. Look at this, look at what's going on right here. Code dominance. You wanna train your trees um, when they're young. Want to train them while they're young. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. It's again. In here. Yeah, you want to train your trees when they're young. So. I mean, this is my new channel. Just going around basically at parks and uh, filming trees. 
seen some health conditions and improper prunings and little recommendation tips. I am not an ISA certified arborist. If you are going to hire a company to trim your trees, you should always hire an ISA certified arborist. Check your city codes. I know that in Miami Beach, uh, only ISA certified arborists can prune trees. Now look at this. This is a nice little specimen, a nice little thing you can work on. Um, I am certified. So if you could see this right here, this is a beautiful tree. It's long, boom, got the longness. So you can kind of train this guy right here. Trim a little bit here and there. You know, open up that canopy just a little bit. I know I spoke about uh, opening it up, but there is a way to open it up. You see how that limb right there is just, see that right there? This right here, this right here. Can prune it, you know, structurally prune it structurally prune that see it's right here you can remove all of this leave it remove this little bit you know look at that boom trim this structure it there you go um there's certain ways to prune trees so let's look if we can see something here all right check this out so can you see this this is a collar when you, when you cut it nicely, it will close up like this. So here we go. Let's see a collar right here. Let's see if we could find the collar here. So here is a collar. So you want to cut right along that line right there. Right along that line. Boom. Once you go cut right along that line, it will eventually close and look real nice like this. See that? There was a cut of a limb right here. They cut it nicely and it sealed up really nice. Good cut there. See another cut right here? That's a good cut. See it right here? All right. See another one? Yeah, so look, this is how it's open like a little donut and it starts to heal. So yeah, I mean, they did bad cuts around here sometime at some point, you know, see that? Too much, see this? too much that's why these suckers grow these are called suckers but look at this here we go so this is what you don't want when you got a young tree right you just bought your tree you don't want it to get this old to start pruning you want to just like cut these things man and uh, do some reduction cuts up over here so that you don't have all of these you know co-dominant leaders coming up from one trunk <laughs> Look at all of this, man. Yeah, you wanna trim some of this down, hit it up so that these guys don't get as chunky because if you leave them, look, hey, look, here's a nice cut. See that? Good cuts. This is what I mean. See how they cover up? Good cuts though. They did some good cuts, but they did it too late. Look at that. And that would have been a nice little tree. Um, there is still hope for this. It's still young. So you could just do some reduction cuts. Um, do some reduction cuts and slowly, slowly start trying. You, it, as the tree shapes up, you will know which one to remove. But yeah, it's a little hard. Because what you don't want is to have this going on, right? And then, oh, look at this, let me see that you don't want this to start going on there's already some kind of decay happening here we have um, some kind of termites ants, and then this will split right here at some point you know once this gets top heavy once this guy right here gets heavy enough it's gonna split here yeah yeah uh, it's being held up over here really good, so it's gonna be a long time, but you might wanna 
do some reduction cuts so it doesn't become so top heavy over here somewhere like out here you want to reduction 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 and yeah that's how it happens man hey yeah guys this is my first video on youtube tree health reporter in the house again i am not a certified arborist i am certified uh horticultural professional uh landscape uh, inspector um so i have done some uh i have some experience in pruning well not just i'm being uh modest over 16 years of pruning experience yeah I want you to take this out right here. This is a nice tree, right? It looks good. So you can actually do, so it's leaning this way, right? You could do some reduction cuts here. Get rid of this guy right here. So okay, now it will look like that. See, it will look like this. So now it will start going this way. So you wanna remove this guy right here, right? Remove this guy up here. And uh, yeah, allow it to grow just a little bit, not too much at all times. Cause what you don't want is for this guy to be so top heavy that it will snap. And this is a weak uh, light type tree. Oh, look at this cool, ooh, I like that. It's a weak tree. Uh, this is a tab, I believe it's a yellow tab. Yep, this is a yellow tab. See, again, look at the... Uh, see the uh, termite type things happening there? Yeah, slowly this will fall over. So yeah, there we have it, man. Yeah, this is my first video. So you remove this guy right here, boom and allow it to stay here. And that's how you really wanna look at when, you, when you're trimming, at least that's how I do it. So there's the convention center. So this is right across the street from the convention center. For me, it's called Pride Park. And over there, that's the botanical garden. Um, you know, you have some kind of uh, art designs here um, another little art installation over there uh, yeah yeah little these little uh, lizards here They're not native I, I just recently started seeing these orange heads they were usually down south down in Kendall now they're starting to show up up here, you know. Oh, there it is. Look at that, I like this. See that? Do some nice little trimming on the bottom right over here. Clear this up so it can match the top. Let it grow out as it should. And yeah. All right, guys. Well, this is my first video here. So let's see what happens. <laughs>